it's been yeah it's been a fascinating process for us then to discover where where the walls are you know where where the boundaries uh, of, of yeah. what you can the definition of what you consider each of these movements to be you know by these kind of questioning and dialogue things so yeah I remember to get, I mean this is some, uh, it's just popped into my head but you're about I think it was 1980 and I was in, uh, played in a group and we wanted to play a piece by Christian Wolf. Uh, braver man music and um, in the middle of it it's got you know it's one of those pieces from the 80s where he's got um, uh, tunes with some sort of political significance uh, in the middle and in the middle he's got this tune the Moor soldiers which is from uh, a song of uh, political prisoners in the 1930s in Germany and it's just a tune uh, maybe uh, maybe I think in two parts with a so tune and one one line harmonizing it and the group I had had a singer, and so we said, uh, I wrote to Christian and said, would it be okay to sing the German words in, in this, at this point? And, you know, there's nothing in the score, it doesn't, doesn't even, I don't think it even identifies the tune. Um, and he said, yeah, and you think, oh, right, okay, well, if you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pandora's box, right? This is a, <laughs> a good collaboration with an ensemble. I think part of what I do as a composer is um, thinking about what would what would work with these particular players. How how now how how far into the creative process you can invite them, uh, and it would be interesting for them to be invited. And so with your group, I mean it, it was. I, I think I've gone in slightly in <clears throat> some directions that I wouldn't normally go in. Um, but also it's been, I've, I've really liked, I mean, this is more or less the first time where there's been a sort of extensive exchange of, this is what we did in this rehearsal coming from you and me saying, oh, you know, actually, you don't, you don't think that that works, but actually I think it works beautifully. Or, yes, this, this new suggestion that you're making actually, I think, would, uh, is in the spirit of the piece, but would add something that I hadn't thought of. Was there some moment where you were trying to translate a game concept into music or into a musical process or was it just composing freely abstractly and then later you would notice these relationships with games how how did it work out i was mostly that the latter um and part well partly because because you're an ensemble and i thought it would be interesting to foreground the improvisatory skills of different musicians in different group in different mu movements, um, and also to think about you know different sorts of ways in which you can, as a musician, you can bounce off and off a score. So in um, in gyroscope, you've got the those the two musicians who've just got words, and so there is there each of them is making their own interpretation of what music what, what sort of music might relate to those different words well well thanks thanks so much for, for so talking about your piece giving some background and and yeah. uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at splendor splendid okay, okay. splendid <laughs> thank you oh, thank you